Hi, hi everyone, and welcome back to your daily dose of mass pina math daling video content. Together with your mathematics Together teacher, with your mathematics sir, teacher Vince. sir Vince. And we're back again. And we're back again with our series about equations of a circle, part three. So for the first part, we're done with transforming general going to standard. For part two, we're done with standard going to general. So ililink ko sa baba yung mga link para makita mo yung mga uh, videos about that so you can have a preview kung ano ba yung mga mga mangyayari sa mga susunod na example so para hindi ka pag sa aking mga lesson make sure to subscribe to like this video and to comment down below para maging updated ka sa aking mga latest post and updates about mathematics contents so let's start discussing our part 3 of our circle series. Ngayon, ngayon alam mo na kung paano ba mag-transform ng general puntang standard or standard going to general. Paano kapag ang binigay sa iyo ay worded problem na? So now, for this video, let us find the equations of a circle pag worded problems na ang ibinigay sa iyo. So let's start and tara, explore natin 'yan. For our example number 1, let us find the equation of a circle in standard form whose radius is at negative 4 and 5 and has a radius of 13 units. So for every worded problem, Meron tayong sinusunod na steps, right? So, uh, I will have a separate video for that. So, you can have a short preview kung paano ba ang tamang pag-resolve ng worded problem. Yun ay tinuro nung ikaw ay elementary. Baka nakalimutan mo. So, babalikan natin siya dito sa ating channel. So, para makita mo yun at ma-update ka, make sure to subscribe and to like this video para makita mo yung aking mga latest post. So, now, Ano ba yung unang gagawin kapag may worded problem? Una, dapat alamin mo ano ba yung hinahanap ng problem. What is ask? So dito, ang hinahanap natin is the standard form of the circle. Yun yung hinahanap. Ngayon, alam mo na yung hinahanap. Ano ngayon yung given? What are the givens? So, pag alam mo na yung hinahanap, Hanapin mo ngayon, ano ba yung mga given sa problem? So, sa ating problem, there are two givens. Binigay sa'yo ang center at binigay sa'yo ang radius. Ano daw ang center? It is found at negative 4, 5, and the radius is 13 units. Yun yung given. After that, na alam mo na ang given, identify the form to be used. Ano ba ang form na gamitin natin? Is it the general or is it the standard? Most probably, since given ang center at given ng radius, meron kang HK at meron kang R, lagi tayong magsisimula kay standard. I repeat, kapag binigay sa'yo ang center at binigay ang radius, lagi kang magsisimula kay standard. Kasi nandun si HK, tsaka nandun si R. But for this particular problem, ang hinahanap din naman ay standard. So, kayang-kaya mo at basic lang sa'yo dahil hindi mo na kailangan pang mag-transform ng equation papuntang general form. Kasi ang hinahanap lang naman ay standard form. So now, let us recall, ito ang standard form ng circle. We have x, the square of x minus h, plus the square of y minus k equals r squared. Now, meron ka ng given at meron ka ng form to be used. Ngayon, what is the value of h now? From your center, anong h doon? Very good, that's negative 4. How about the value of k? That's 5. Very good. So, ngayon, alam mo na yung h na negative 4? At alam mo na yung k na 5, how about the r? Yung r yung radius, that's equal to 13. 
So, alam mo na yung H, alam mo na yung K, at alam mo na yung R. So, after that, you can now substitute the given. So, after knowing the given, you must substitute it with your form. So, ipasok mo lang siya doon sa ating standard form. And this will become x minus negative 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 13 squared. Now, kung napapansin mo, mayroong dalawang parentes doon sa gilid. So, ang gawin natin, just simply perform yung law of signs. What is negative times negative? That's positive. This will become x plus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals r squared, ah, uh, 13 squared. Okay? Ginawa ko lang siyang plus. Kasi negative times negative is positive. And, observe that, ang hinahanap dito ay standard form. So, ngayon, ang gawin lang natin is to squared mo yung left side. So, this will become 13 times 13. That's 159. At ang hinahanap lang naman ay standard form. So, ayan na ang standard form ng circuit. So, nakuha mo na ng ganun lang kadali ang standard form na ang center ay negative 4, 5 at ang radius ay 13. Basic na ganyan lang siya hanapin. Basta alam mo yung hinahanap, alam mo yung given, kayang-kaya mo nang mag-solve ng equations of the circle. As long as napanood mo yung part 1 tsaka part 2 nito, hindi ka na mahihirapan dito sa ating part 3. Okay? Sige, kopyahin, namnamen, at i-digest. Nakopya na? Let's proceed with our example number 2. So for this particular problem, we will find the equation of a circle in general form na ang center is at negative 3, negative 2, at may radius na 3 square root of 5 units. Ngayon, ano una? What is asked? The general form. What are the given? Meron kang center na negative 3, negative 2, at meron kang radius na 3 square root of 5 units. Ngayon, alam mo na ang radius at alam mo na ang center. Sabi ko alina, di ba? Kapag given ang center at kapag given ang radius, anong form ang gagamitin? We will start with the standard form. At dito, ang hinahanap ay general. So ngayon, i-apply mo na yung natunan mo nung first part at second part on how to transform from standard going to general form. Okay? Now, let us substitute all the given. This will become x minus negative 3 to the power of 2 plus y minus negative 2 squared plus 3 squared of 5 squared. Ngayon, okay, apalit natin. Simplify natin yung mga signs para hindi ka malito. This will become x plus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 45. Now, paano nakuha yung 45 doon sa the square of 3 square root of 5? Simple lang. Tandaan, law of radicals. That's grade 9 math. So, kung hindi mo pa siya gamay, we will have a separate video for that. So, make sure to subscribe here para makita mo yung aking post doon sa law of radicals. Kung paano ba mag-square ng radicals at ano ginagawa natin doon. Now, to have a quick uh, view about that, so simple lang, yung square dyan, distribute mo lang. So magiging 3 squared. Ano ang 3 squared? That's 9. 3 times 3, that's 9. Tapos, makakancel mo yung square root. Tama? So ang may iwan is 5. So ang matitira, that's 3 squared times 5. So 3 times 3, that's 9. Times 5, that's 45. So, ganoon siya. Distribute, tas makakancel, and then multiply. 3 squared, 9, times 5, 45. So, meron ka na ngayon, uh, standard form of the circle. At hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi nga, ang hinahanap ay general form. 
So, let us transform this going to general form of the circle. So, this will become, so, di ba, ang gagawin natin is to expand the binomial. So, uh, x times, uh, square the first term, multiply first term, second term, and 2, tapos square the last term. So, this will become x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 45. Kung naguguluhan, uh, baka hindi mo pa napanood yung aking second part, so balikan mo lang yung part 2 ng video na to para makita mo kung paano ba yan ini-expand. Now, let us now isolate or ilipat yung constant term papuntang left side of the equation. So this will become x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 minus 45. Nilipat ko lang yung 45 papuntang left side of the equation. Next step is to uh, combine like terms or the all constants. So 9 plus 4, ilan? 13. Minus 45, that's equal to negative 32. So you have x squared plus 6x plus y squared plus 4y minus 32 equals 0. And last step natin, papuntang general form, ayusin mo lang siya in the form of x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f na nakaayos. And viola, you have now your final answer which is x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 4y minus 32 equals 0. And that is the general form of the circle whose radius or whose center is at negative 3, negative 2, and radius is at 3 square root of 5 units. Kayang-kaya? Basic? Okay? Sige, kopyahin. Namnamen at i-digest. Ready na for our last example? So let us proceed with our last example number 3. Let us write the equation in standard form whose center is at the origin and a diameter of 14 units. What is asked? Standard form of the circle. What, is, what are the given? Sir, walang center na coordinates. Ang sabi lang yung center na sa origin. Ngayon, Back to your grade 8 math, di ba? Pinag-aralan nyo yung Cartesian plane. O, ano ba yung coordinates noong origin? Kung saan nagtagpo yung x-axis tsaka yung y-axis? What are the coordinates of your origin? That's 0, 0. Or 0 and 0. Di ba? Doon nagtagpo yung x tsaka yung y-axis sa 0, 0. So, that is now your center. But, ang given ay diameter, which is 14 units. Now, knowing the parts of the circle, alam mo na ang diameter ay dalawang radius. Tama? Ang isang buong diameter ay dalawa siyang radius. So, meaning, kung meron kang diameter, paano kukunin yung radius? Paano? Very good. Kakalahatiin mo yung diameter para makuha si radius. Kasi di ba, para makuha yung standard, anong kailangan? Radius. So to get the radius, given yung diameter, kalahatiin mo lang si diameter. So now, what is the half of 14? Very good, that's 7. So ibig sabihin, meron kang radius na 7 units. Ayan, meron ka ng center at radius. Anong form na gamitin natin? That's the standard form. Okay? And then, anong gagawin? Next step is to uh, distribute all the given doon sa ating equation. So we have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 7 squared. Next step is to simplify mo yung may squared sa left side. So, 7 squared or 7 times 7 
ilan? That x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 49. Now, simplify pa natin to. Kaya pa to eh. What is x minus 0? Paano kung yung x, bawasan mo ng wala? Or a variable, tapos bawasan mo ng 0 or ng walang number. Anong matitira? Is the variable itself. So, x minus 0 will be x. Tapos, y minus 0 will be y. Very good. So, therefore, our standard form would become x squared plus y squared equals 49. Sinimplify ko lang. Kasi nga, pwede mo naman siya isimplify eh. Kasi yung x minus nothing is x. y minus nothing is y. Equals to 49. So, therefore, meron ka ng standard form of the circle na x squared plus y squared equals 49. Nakuha ba? Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, at i-digest ang ating last Example. Okay? 